it was terrifying. When you get into the dance floor, it was like rhythm was optional. <laughs> People weren't dancing, they were just having a seizure. <laughs> For three hours straight, right? So I'm there, I came to Barcelona, no friends, so I'm super lonely. So I'm out there in this dance floor, everyone's having a seizure around me and shit. And I'm trying to have a good time, but then I see this dude pour white powder into his friend's hand. I was like, oh shit. I was like, Molly, ecstasy? I wanna try some, you know? So he licks his hand, this guy, and I kind of motioned to him like, hey, can I have some white powder too? Which is like the international signal for like, can I have some drugs, bro? <laughs> and then he empties his white powder into my hand and I lick it and I was just like, what is this? And he says, no sé. <laughs> I was like, where, where did you find this from? He says, el suelo. <laughs> I was like, El Suelo, like, where was that? He's like, the, the floor. I was like, that's not your drug dealer, El Suelo? He's like, no, 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 El Suelo, from the floor, from the, El Suelo. So you shouldn't do drugs, but you definitely shouldn't do drugs from the fucking floor, right? So I was like, what's gonna happen? He's like, I guess we find out. <laughs> so I'm looking at him like he's a guinea pig, you know, every 10 minutes trying to see what's gonna happen to him so I know what's gonna happen to me, but he's just having a seizure the whole time. <laughs> And then about 10 minutes later, I knew it kicked in for this guy, because I just see him in the corner, sitting down, licking his armpit. <laughs> <laughs> like the antidote was inside of it. So I'm like, oh my God, this is so scary. What the fuck is gonna happen to me? I feel my toes start to tingle. I was like, I need to go to someplace calm. And I go outside, and I ask this guy for advice. I was like, hey man, first time in Barcelona, where do you recommend I go? And he says, oh, I have a good place for you. It's called Baghdad. <laughs> Very relaxed, very nice, you're going to love it. Baghdad. <laughs> Did you just Google that shit in your head? They're like, oh, si, sí, yes! Si, 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 continue, continue, continue. So I go to this place, Baghdad, right? And there's this woman behind a little thing, and there's this little mouse hole, and she says, entry, is 90 euros. I was like, what is this place? She's like, live sex show. I was like, oh, 90 euros? He's like, yeah. I was like, well, I don't, I don't want to buy the club. I just want to go inside. <laughs> you know, I don't want to finance this whole operation. She's like, 90 euros, go ahead. And I was like, well, you know, let's get some culture. I can write it off as a business expense. Let's go see what it's all about. So I go down these, I go down these stairs and descend into this tiny place low ceilings, has about 20 chairs, and this tiny stage, red carpet, and this little white podium that spins in a circle. And on this podium was a woman on all fours getting fucked by a dude who looked like Antonio Banderas <laughs> on steroids. She's getting plowed into, right? Just <laughs> and I sit down and she asked me, where are you from? <laughs> As she's getting fucking assaulted from behind. Now, let me give you an idea of how big this guy's dick was, okay? It, it was so big that space and time was bending around. Right? He had a black hole dick. It was an interstellar galactic dick. <laughs> It was so intimidating. And she's asking, she's like, where are you from? I'm like, um, shouldn't you be concentrating right now? I was like, I'm from California. She's like, oh, I never been. I'm like, you know what? Women are very good at multitasking. I gotta say, very good at multitasking. So she's getting pounded. And then next thing you know, she leaves the stage and this other woman comes up. And so each dancer kind of had like a theme, right? And so the, this one that gets up there, she was very lazy. She didn't really feel like dancing. I don't know what her theme was, like, oh, I'm a digital nomad in Barcelona. I don't feel like working, <laughs> kind of thing. So she's up there, just super lazy. That was kind of boring. I thought, maybe I'm gonna leave. And then these bunch of like a, a Irish dudes come in, like a bachelor party. And so the place is kind of filling up now. Now there's this really attractive woman that comes out. And she was stunning. She had this army outfit on, she was carrying a gun. My first thought was, like, oh, a terrorist. <laughs> and she's looking out at the crowd and she does this amazing dance. And then this is where the interactive part comes. I thought interactive thought, you know, they just talk to you. No, she grabs one of these Irish dudes from the audience, pulls him on stage. Now, I'm not sure what's gonna happen, 
I'm a good Christian, okay? <laughs> I've never, when you go to strip clubs in America, you're not allowed to touch. But then she lies down his, this dude, and he pull, pulls down his pants, and she's trying to find his dick. And he had a big ass bush, and his dick was hiding like a hedgehog. <laughs> and she's trying to find it in the dick. <laughs> And she finally gets to it, and he couldn't even get an erection. And his mates are like, come on, you can do it, Seamus, come on! And he's like, no, no, I had too many whiskeys, too many whiskeys. And she's trying to get his dick hard, nothing was working, so she starts going like this. <laughs> nothing. Finally, she kind of pops it up, she puts a condom on him, and she's about to go down on this guy, and nothing was working. So she kicks him off the little podium, and he's on the stage. And then she looks at me, she's like... <laughs> We had Irish, now we have American. Come on. I was like, oh. This is like the Cock Olympics. <laughs> Ireland, America. I get on stage, I was like, whatever. She was so attractive. She pulls down my pants as I'm lying down. And now, for those of you who th thought that once I pulled down my pants, I represented for it, you know? <laughs> Like I pulled it down and it unfolded and it was like <laughs> <laughs> and, and knocked a drink out of someone's hands. Not every black guy lives up to that stereotype, okay? Alright, some of us are just normal, but I'm big for an Asian, fuck you, okay? So it's your fault for having huge expectations. So she so I'm lying down and she pulls out my pants and I'm fully shaved, so she had no trouble finding it. And her reaction, she was like You would have thought she's adopting a small child from Uganda. It was like, it's so cute! <laughs> so I'm just like there, and she's trying her hard, just like, and nothing, nothing's happening, because it's nerve-wracking, you know? I just spent 90 euros, I'm in debt, bright lights, Irish dude staring at me, I can't get an erection in these, I can't work in these conditions. And so she, she kicks me off the podium, so now Seamus and I are just both in timeouts. <laughs> and we're sitting there, and she calls out the dude. And the big guy comes back, Antonio Banderas, with his massive dick. And she starts going down on him. You should have seen it. Her jaw unhinges like a snake. And was like, ah. <laughs> and Seamus and I are like, oh my god, does that mean we're next? What the fuck? <laughs> and we're so terrified, right? And so we're holding hands. This dude pulls off the condom, and he goes to come all over this girl's face. And we're just sitting there. And as he's about to come, Seamus and I just jump, jump off the stage, like like synchronized diving. We're like, <laughs> into the arms of these Irish guys that caught us. And he finishes right on her face. And in the end, you know what happened? I finally made a friend. 